Today I'm going to do a commentary uh, drone flight, so I'm going to try this out. It's my first time doing this, so you know, I got to see how this thing works out. So I'm going to, if this works out pretty good, I'm going to be doing this pretty much instead of uh, just the uh, f flights on the drone. So I'm going to try to do a commentary drone flight. So, so here it goes. Okay, let's see. So I'm in the car over here and I decided to fly the drone from the car. You know, I closed the windows, it's kind of cold out. So I took off, let's see what I, where I'm gonna go at. I have no idea where I'm gonna take the drone at. Over there you can see, back there you can see um, two people walking. Um, a late, two ladies, I, I believe the two ladies and uh, I think they were, as soon as I took off, they heard the drone. So, and all the way in the back, you can see the um, parachute jump. This is like a Bay Area over here. They made this area a park area. It wasn't a park, it was like a dump pretty much over here, but they, I cooked it up as a park. You also see the highway over here. See that? It was cool though. You see those, uh, the plastic, you can see, you saw the guards. Uh, I, 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 have, I have guards on the drone, that's why sometimes when I pull forward, it pulls down, but generally it wouldn't show that if, if I didn't have the guards. See, you can see the people on the right, right bottom, They're, they already noticed the drone, they saw it, so they stopped to look. Yeah, I think there's two ladies there, they're like, what the fuck? Yeah, so they're checking it out by now. I, I decided just all right let me let me see let me just you know test it out let me see how it, you know how it's gonna look while I'm uh, checking out checking them out so I figured out hey, fuck it let me move a little further look over here inside the bay check the water check the water out and test out the can the gimbal of the camera see it goes up and down and then turn it around like that see the highway there it's, they, yeah, they hooked this place up. Like they have uh, some some fields here now. See, they stop to look again. So I say, oh, let me get closer. Uh, I don't remember the exact amount of feet I was here, but I wasn't that high. A lady waved the one in the red. She noticed it. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't take it that high right at this point. I don't remember exactly. I probably took it about. Maybe 60 feet uh, around that range, you know. So I, I figured I pull forward a little bit more over here. So, so let me pan it out. Let me do like a pan view around, check the area out. Just tech, testing the controls out. You know, I'm pretty new at this drone, uh, flying the drone. So I want to get used to it. You know, there's a lot of things I want to do with the drone. Checking out the area. I'm parked over there. I was afraid to take it too far, so you know. So I gotta test it out. You see other two two other people walking over there. They didn't notice the drone though. I I didn't know it didn't appear to look like they noticed the drone. Just the only the only people that noticed the drone was the two ladies from before. I figured I hovered a little bit next to them, see if they would notice it. I wasn't flying that high, like I said, like about 60 feet right now. I figured I'd go by the field, but I didn't want to go into the field because there was people there that were like playing and stuff like that, you know. I moved up a little bit. It looks nice from up there though. I just still like like pretty much at the edge of the field. It's the guy I think playing the playing soccer there. It's a nice view over here. Maybe the guy in the black noticed it. I'm not sure. It kind of looked that way, or possibly the guy in the car. It didn't appear to look like anybody noticed it at the time when I was in the car. I was busy looking around, see if anybody would notice. I'd say, oh, I'm gonna take it back this direction. You know, I figured, oh, let, 
There's a good spot here, you know, there's barely anybody here. I think this was on a, it was a Saturday. No, Saturday? No, it was Friday. It was Friday. I did this. See the highway. Oh, I did. Uh, there goes the lady again with the, the other two ladies. I just noticed that, that they were over there. I didn't even notice that. They were, they were standing over there looking at the drone again. I guess they found it amusing. I just, you know, I was still testing it out. I brought it down a little bit. I like this area though. It's a pretty cool area. You know, I'm gonna take it here again. I wanna do other area. There's a, there's a place I wanna take it and take the drone. And there's a, like a little small little island in, over here by in, in Staten Island. This is not Staten Island, this is in Brooklyn. But in Staten Island, there's a little island I want to take it to. I don't think it's that far, but I have to go over water. So I have to make sure I, I know what the fuck I'm doing before I try to attempt to take it over water. But I heard uh, it was a, 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 a tutor where a guy says that, uh, that I have to disengage something on it before I go over water. It's like like a kind of like a safety thing something had to do with the gps but i'm not sure but i saved it anyway I, i'll check it out but anyway there's, there's like a little island and in that island uh there's a um there's the um supposedly a, a bird sanctuary there I, I think that's the only thing that's there in the island there's like a lot of trees and stuff but it's it's really not that far away from the mainland so i just i want to try to you know uh check out that area you know survey the area a little bit, go around it and then come back with the drone to that, you know, that's like, that's gonna be my task. I'm, I'm gonna try to do that, you know. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to do that, you know, but I have to, I'm gonna check like Google World, Google Maps, whatever, and see how far it is. And check out how far, how far it is from the mainland, you know. Cause this drone, I believe only was pretty close to like a mile around that, you know. Uh, but this is, this is, it, it, this, this, this one is like the standard one, so the standard one goes about a mile. The advance goes about a mile and a half. Um, it goes a little bit further, not that much. But I know there's modifications you could do to the remote to make it go further, you know. It'd be nice if I could go like two, three miles, you know, even nicer, but then you can't see the drone. You want to be able to kind of like see the drone, you know. Uh, uh, besides it looking through, the, uh, through your cell phone, you know. So there's another field over here in this area. I should have took it all the way back there. You know, I wasn't too comfortable. I was, you know, I gotta be like really comfortable with it, you know. Cause this is like my, probably my seventh flight already, flight with it already. So I, you know, I'm still learning, you know. And and on this day when I did this, I was testing out, testing out a lot of the features that it has. It has pretty cool features, that, you know, and options you could do. But I was testing those options out and stuff like that, you know. There's a couple of other things that I saw, you know, that you could do with it. Also like, uh, you know, batteries running out, you do self auto land. Uh, it's pretty cool though, I like, I like this drone, that DJI made. It's pretty cool, really nice. I want to check it out, check it out. You can go on the website and check it out. But the batteries, the batteries last about 25 minutes. So I only got a, about 25 minutes of flight. Um, the batteries are expensive though. You got to have at least two batteries, you know, minimum two batteries because two batteries would be a, close to an hour of flying. But if you're going to hang out like with your friends and they have drones and stuff like that, you're going to need at least, I would say, four batteries, you know. But if you're having like a nice day, a day out flying the drones, you're gonna need your drone, you're gonna need at least four batteries, I would say. And the batteries are $150, you know, original. But they, you can probably get them a little less. I've seen them a little less, but I don't trust that, you know, sometimes they have these knockoff stuff, you know, like on eBay and stuff like that. You get a few dollars less, maybe $10 or like $140 or whatever. On Amazon, I checked it with like a, about a about 100 about $140, but I, I, I just want to go with OEM. I'm going to go with the originals, you know. I don't, tr I don't trust those. I don't want to have a mid-air collision or whatever, you know. Or it just runs out of batteries and just dies, you know.
But yeah, I decided at this point, I decided right now, I said, you know what? I'm going to take it up high. I'm going to take it up really high as, as much as I feel comfortable taking it. So I decided to take it as high as I, I feel comfortable. So I took it up right now about a hundred and I mean, 350 feet high. I took it up, you know, at that, at that, when I took it up to 350, I came out of the car and I looked like I poked my head out to see how high it looks, you know, but from, from this from this height, it's so it looks so tiny that I was like, oh, I kind of got scared, and I was like, oh man, it's high, you know, like pretty much. I was like, okay, I know I could take it up to 400 feet. I know I could take it high, but then I would, you know, it's illegal to take it. Uh, I mean, the law, I mean, the FAA doesn't want to, want you to take it over 400 feet, but I think this is sufficient. 400 feet is pretty sufficient and, uh, enough, because even at 350, I thought it was high enough, and I was. And I was and I was scared at 350. Like, oh man, this is high. Look at this view at 350 feet high. So I was at, at this view right here. I was at 350 feet, and I was scared shit because it looked so tiny. The drone from up here, I was like, damn, it was like a, almost like a speck. And I could have took it up another 50 feet. I got my my remote set at 400 feet exactly because it, it already comes preset. But at, um. So about a hundred feet, it doesn't let you know. It's like a a, a test out mode. It doesn't let you take it that that far. I mean, that high up or that far, you know, just to like a, you know, like a, you're testing it, you know, like a safe mode. That's what they call it, a safe mode. But I I, I just I just maxed it to the four hundred that you legally could take it, you know, uh, take it up four hundred feet. Cause I, it's pretty sufficient four hundred feet. Cause right now it's three hundred fifty feet. And this is high. This is good enough, you know, at three hundred fifty. You know, I'll probably end up taking up to 400 feet, you know, one day, you know, when I feel a little more comfortable. It was a little slight breeze, not not that bad, but it still was a, a I think that the day was a little hazy, like, you know. So right now I started des descending slowly at this point. You know, I was taking it down slow. I was kind of, you know, I was kind of like scared, like, all right, let, let me take it slow, you know. Let me take it down real slow, you know. Cause there was a little slight breeze. I was uh, kind of like scared, scared when I when I was up there. You know, like you can't notice it because of the because the camera has a gimbal and stuff like that. So if the if the uh, the drone shakes a little, you you, you can't see it because because the because the camera keeps this because uh, the gimbal keeps the camera stable as it as it's, uh shake if if it shakes a little back and forth or if you like gun to, gun one of the sticks go to go forward fast. And then kind of like halts, so it jerks back. The 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 drone kind of like jerks back or jerks forward a little bit. You you will not be able to see that because the the, the gimbal keeps the camera nice and stable. That's one great thing about this this drone. You know they build this shit right. You know, but you know. So yeah, I I ended up taking it back down to uh, I don't know. It is about a hundred and something feet at this point. You know. Yeah. But it's pretty cool though and I you know I really like this this drone, you know. Like they have the the standard, advanced and and they got the professional one. The only difference between the the advanced and the standard compared to the professional is just um it goes a little further, uh, about a mile and a half. Supposedly it goes a little further. You got a little more range, uh and you just in the camera it's, it's it's a higher resolution camera it's a 4k camera this one this one is hd and it could go up to 2.7k you know i don't have it set to 2.7k right now but i I'll, I'll, i'm gonna put it to 2.7k right now i have the i have it set to hd you know but the picture's great though the picture's still great you know because most of the filming i do is it it's is uh it's um, an HD, full HD. But the camera, this ca the camera that I use uh, to vlog and stuff like that, that, that camera can go 4K. But I haven't tried a 4K filming yet, but I will go up to 4K. Uh, the thing is that you need a bigger memory card. I mean, I could get that, that's not, that's not a problem. It, uh, I, I guess I need a, a, a bigger hard drive also. I have like, I told you I have like a few hard drives already on this, this um, 
I'm going to end up needing another hard drive because one of my hard drives is almost filled and that's a 500 gigabyte hard drive. It's almost filled up with videos, with backup video, you know, from all the producing. This area here, they, they had a lot of docks here and stuff like that many years ago. There's a history behind this, this area here, this bay area. You know, I don't know the whole full, he the whole full history, but I know that there's a, a submarine uh, that sunk in this area here. Uh, they, they used this area to test that submarine, but there's one that sunk, but like the top of the submarine is sticking out. You know, I know where it is, I've seen the submarine. One day I'll, I'll take the drone there and I'll take it right to the submarine. Uh, maybe on the next flight, I'm not sure, but yeah, some guy over here on the left hand side from where I parked that um, he he was taking pictures of his car and stuff like that. He would occasionally peek up at the drone, see what I was doing. You know. Yeah, so so I decided to take it back to the around the parking. I should have took a little further out and stuff like that. You know. It was a little breezy. I didn't really want to come out of the car. I was like, fuck it. Let me let me test it. Uh, you know, I figured, let me test it from when I'm sitting in the car instead of just standing up like I did before, you know. That's what I did. I just, you know, stood in the car while I was watching the screen and checking out the features and stuff like that. That's what I was doing it, like testing it left, right, up, down, and things like that, you know. They built a whole trailway where you could walk in this area here. Just all that wasn't there. I remember coming here years ago to look for snakes or with a friend of mine and and this whole place was just like uh like little hills they used to use this area to to drive on what uh what are those called dirt bikes around here it was like little hills and stuff it was like a, all like grassy trees and stuff like that in this area so they made it a park now yeah i still come around here once in a while and stuff like that not not that much though but I should have took it further back towards where the uh, submarine is, but I, I'm gonna take it there one day where the submarine is. Yeah. So yeah, I, it was pretty much what I did over here. See that guy over there. He, he was taking pictures of his car and shit like that. I don't know, I guess he's gonna put it on Facebook or whatever, you know. Yeah, so at this point, I ended up doing a couple of tests before I take it down. So you see me in the car, checking out some of the other controls, trying to, you know, just testing out, jig it, jigging it left, right, you know. This time I did decide not to, to do an auto land, I've, you know, because you can do an auto land also. I decided to try to take it down myself. So that's what I was doing. I said, I'm gonna land it myself without uh, doing an auto land. So there I go on my landing. Boom, there you go, see? That's about it. So guys, don't forget to uh, subscribe and share. I hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching. See you later.